Titans running back Derrick Henry signed a contract, a four-year extension. Very much it's a team-friendly deal. It's worth $50 million, $25.5 million guaranteed. And you can make a real argument that Derrick Henry is the best running back in the NFL. He led the NFL in rushing. He was a vital, vital part of the Titans playoff run last year. I mean, there were games where last year Derrick Henry was literally like their entire offense. I mean, I think Ryan Tannehill had like 83 yards at one point in the playoffs. You're like, what? That's nothing. Derrick Henry's just leading the way. Um, now, the deal is interesting because the extension only makes Derrick Henry the fifth highest paid running back in the NFL, which is like very surprising for what I, he, I would have thought he got more. You know, the highest paid running back in the NFL is Christian McCaffrey. He makes on average $16 million a year. Number two is Ezekiel Elliott making $15 million a year. Number three, the Le'Veon, uh, Le'Veon Bell, the Jets running back, makes thirteen point one. Texans running back David Johnson makes uh, $13 million a year. He's the fourth highest paid running back. And then you got Derrick Henry only making, and it's a lot of money, but in comparison, only $12.5 million. And he might very well, him or Christian McCaffrey, I think are debatable. Uh, I, I, Christian McCaffrey's a little more versatile, but Derrick Henry very well might be the best running back in the NFL. Derrick Henry can catch, too. No one talks about that. Go watch the playoffs last year with the Titans. They threw some passes to him where you're like, oh, he took that thing 40 dang yards. Wow. And so, first of all, here's why it's good for the Titans. Not only did Derrick Henry not break the bank, Derrick Henry could have, and I think the truth is, he wanted a gigantic contract, but he wasn't going to get it. We'll dive into that in a minute. So not only did... Derrick Henry signed a moderate contract where he's not the highest paid running back. He's not destroying their salary cap. But also, there are, are only two years of the contract. Only two years of Derrick Henry's contract and extension are guaranteed where after two years, the Titans could cut him and say, ah, we gave you $25.5 million. Have fun. Have a good life. Take care. And I think that it's worth mentioning Derrick Henry's 26 right now. He'll be 27 in January. And the Titans got a great deal here. I just, I can't say it enough. Derrick Henry could have, and I think was asking for more. Now, the reason why I think Derrick Henry signed what he did was partially because he realized, look, it's not going to budge. I want more money. I, they're going to just franchise tag me and they're not going to give me that. So what I'm going to do, Derrick Henry said, I understand that the running back market is losing value as quarterback prices go up. Running back prices have steadily been going, you know, they're just getting less and less important. And I respect Derrick Henry's self-awareness to kind of recognize this is the best offer I'm going to get. I am I want more money. I'd love, and I, I understand Derrick Henry probably feels like I should make $16 million a year. I should make more, 16.1. I should make more than Christian McCaffrey. I beat him in yards. I carried my team on my back. And sometimes I carried the other team on my back. So Derrick Henry, this might not be ideal, but again, it's worth $25.5 million guaranteed, and it's a long-term contract. I think Derrick Henry's underpaid, but I'm glad he got something for his family, and I just understand that Derrick realized, look, I want more money. It's not going to happen. He even came out and said, like, these are weird, you know, what, what do you say? There are, uh, times of great uncertainty was the quote he gave, where he realized, hey, we need to just lock this down and get a contract going, and so... I respect Derrick Henry. I think he's underpaid, not by much, like a million or two, a couple million dollars, uh, which is a lot, but it's in the scheme of things, I'm just glad he, he had the self-awareness to realize I'm not going to get the contract I want, but let's take what I can, which is a little better than the franchise tag. He got a long-term deal, $25.5 million, got his family some money that's going to probably last them for the rest of his life. He's set for life. Um, and I, I'm happy for Derrick Henry, even if he didn't really get the contract he wanted. Now, and, and again, to be clear, Derek is underpaid in my opinion. But congratulations to the Titans. They got a crazy screaming deal, and Derrick Henry got paid. 